Hello, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time visiting, hi, thanks so much for stopping by. I upload mostly Sims 4 content here. Quite often, I've had a little break for a couple of weeks. I've had some stuff going on in my real life that I needed to attend to and give my full attention to. But I am back. YouTube is something I do for fun. I actually have a career and I have a family. So this is my release. I, I love sharing with you my terrible gameplay and if you enjoy watching it thank you thank you so much let's have some fun my sons put me onto this game they said mum you're gonna love this game they know that I love playing civics games and city builders and world builders and I'm a huge fan of city skylines and other games like that so they told me about this game called Anno 1800 and they got it for me and I've had a little look at it and I do love it. It's terrific. So if you can excuse my very poor gameplay, uh, let's have some fun playing Anno 1800. Okay, let's go for a new game. Let's try the campaign. I, I say we should. It's probably a really good way to learn how to work it. So, let's go campaign. I'm curious who all those characters are. We better click more guidance because I am a terrible game player. Now, who are we going to choose? I was going to make Sunday, but I thought I'll make Sunday for our free build world. So I haven't got everyone unlocked. Um, I rather like the look of this chap. He's kind of dashing and adventurous. Well, don't shake your head at me. We're going to pick you. Uh, that's a hideous colored flag. Let's go black. Let's pick something. I think I believe it's got to do with shipping companies. So we'll go with that. Um, and your name. Let's call you... <laughs> Let's let's name you after one of my my very first subscriber and one of my greatest supporters and I absolutely love this sub of mine. Let's call him Lord Caswell. Let's do that. Kaz, I hope you're watching. I've picked you a very dashing character. Uh, let's keep it on normal. I'm not that confident. And let's go. It's a beautiful game. The artwork is really lovely. The detail, um, the feel, the ambience. Look at these workers having a tussle with the masters. Oh, wow. I hope I can get that far. But my little settlement looks like that. God, that's beautiful, isn't it? So romantic. Lovely. It's just all the romance and frills of the... of years gone by. Here we go. Oh, this is an exotic place. Crocs. Since that day you saved my life, I have presumed I knew you. But now, a thousand letters from your father go unopened, yet one scribbled from your sister changes everything. I didn't even know you had a sister. Nor did I. We are broke, old pal. We can't afford a passage back to your old world, back to your family. Not unless you suddenly remembered what work is. Wow, rude. But why Dynamite are you my friend? Fishing. You're serious? Sure am. <laughs> well, the village north is always short on food. It's a cute little village too. Can we just Remember stay here? Remember when we escaped the pits back when? Still some dynamite left. I don't actually remember escaping the pit pits with you, but they doesn't sound like a good time. Let's go get some dynamite. 
Neptune's gift. Here it is. Uh, just get. Uh, okay, now let's. These are the fish. Let's try and get in a position where we could possibly get all of them at once. Still trying to get used Two. to that smell of char. Oh, what the chimichurri was that boom? Got them. The chimichurri. What the chimichurri Even was that more boom? Even roasted fish. Let's go. Which which click do I do to pick it up? Right. Okay, come on. Pick all that fish up. Go. I wish I could cue what they can do. Go! Got it. All the blistered fish they could ever want. Okay. Now I take it over here. With that first bang, I knew it was you. So, come show me what you got this time. That guy looks a little sick, doesn't he? He's got this... Ah, that burnt reek. Ugh. Hand over whatever it is and I'll help you get rid of it. He's got this, like, grey pallor to him. All right. Here are your tickets. Hurry, drifters. The boat is leaving soon. And nobody wants you to miss it. Yeah, where are you going to get your blistered fish from then? Oh, here we go. We're leaving. Good riddance. So, this is it. We're leaving paradise behind. You never talked much about family and the like. But you're dead serious about this, aren't you? Too right. No matter. I made a vow to defend you. And I don't break an oath. Even if a blind man could see you leap into the deepest pit of dung. Why do I hang out with you? I get nothing but insults. Oh, travel by map. I have map. never asked anything of you, Firstborn. Not when you stole away a tiptoe, leaving the family burden at your little sister's door. Our father oh, is accused of high treason. Heck. Dare you to believe it? Will you now stand I by, knowing gentle father is in dungeon? It must kill him. Please come home. We need you. All right, I'm on my way. I'm coming. Oh, nice settlement. Is it really you, dearest sibling? It is. I never dared hope you'd return. Do you remember Bright Sands? Of uh, course you do. Not really. We loved it here. It's changed now. The Royal Council support Uncle Edvard. Father barely cold, and he's pulling everything down. What a jerk. That's my uncle, is it? Ooh. Who'd want to live there? Yeah, I'm not so All sure. those houses. Yeah. You never said how wealthy you were. I didn't know. Why were we selling fish and sleeping in barns? Uh, never told your friend of good and sons. Nope. There is much to be said, but not now. Dear father's funeral begins. All right. Let's get this morning done. So our uncle's Where a bit of a... Where have you been? Without you brats, we'll never be done with this obligation. Wow. Looks like death claimed the wrong brother. I'd say. No matter, so few are here. When they are the few he loved most. Nobody likes a traitor, let alone his tainted offspring. Better make yourself scarce. Man, does anyone like me? Sheesh. Okay. We shall, dear sibling, for now. I have acquired a small island with the last of my funds, and passage for all still loyal to father. Together, we shall clear his name, or die trying. May as well. Your sister reminds me of you. Must mean new adventures await, old pal. I don't think you should be thinking of adventures this is it. with my sister. Ditch water. End of the world. I hope you like it quiet. I do. Thank you. 
ditch water. Okay. I'm ready. Chapter One. A Tale of Two Brothers. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay. Wow. What? Still here? Establishing a rival company on that disheveled island? Well, yes, I am. Let Uncle Edvard scoff. A modest island, yes, but if you're at all like father, you'll look beyond appearances. I'm better than father. You we must watch. shelter the good, loyal people who have shown solidarity with our family. Okay. We need every hand we can get if we are to expunge this debris. So I need to build a marketplace. Hmm. Okay, marketplace needs to be where I'm putting people. Where's got more timber? That side or that side? I might put people over this side. It's a good spot. Now I've just got to put a road around it. What? Too close to debris. I checked the manifests. Let's not all our facilities are able to deliver the goods they no, produce. No, of course they're not. Please correct the situation. Working on it. Okay, now I they can. I always appreciate your help, however overdue. Right, now I need to put some people in. Hmm, there's some mighty debris there. How many do I need? So that's six, eight, ten. You reached a new milestone. Age of agriculture. Okay, we've got our first block down. These people are going to need a road. Okay, I've got to attract a lot more farmers. Do you remain here out of spite? Or is this some futile attempt at competition? Spite, actually. As you are so desperate to appear responsible, you'll be pleased to hear the cost of that fantastical funeral falls to you. Yeah, of course it does. Miserly, uncharitable dastard! Yeah, what a jerk. Picking and choosing what he inherits. Yep, he's a real jerk. Timber. Very good. I'll try not to think of the coffin. Yeah, come on. Don't be so soft. we got stuff to do. Right, but that warehouse should be in range. Yes, it is. I wonder if we can put another one of them down where we can get a hundred percent off of it. There we go. Okay, so we've got some wood happening because we are gonna need wood. Now, yep, yeah, see I can't even build anything else without wood. Okay, I'm starting to attract some farmers. Okay, so I hope I get to clean up that debris that's everywhere. This dusty smoke crap. Not a fan of that. I need a really timber-rich area. Over there is... That should definitely be... See what slander Edvard Prince and Bright Sands. What's he done? Samuel's child, is it? Yes. Thank heavens. I am so ashamed of every single word your uncle had me print. Do what you got to do. Edvard the Saviour. Oh. Well. He twists every article in his favour at our and father's expense. Don't worry about the haters, Hannah. Okay, I need to attract some more farmers. Are they just going to move into these little houses or do I need to build more? I'm probably going to have to build more anyway. Wait, what can I do here? Oh, I'm clearing the debris. Thank Father you. Father wouldn't have wanted us to sit on our hands while our one prospect was in such a state. No, he wouldn't. 
So let's gather our townsfolk and ask them to spruce the place up. Timber. I needed that. So Morning is eased. Now we have bad. others for company, sibling. I really needed that. It's been a hard day of labor for us all. We should cater to our tired, hungry people. Okay, we'll build them a fishery. Okay, let's get this fishery. Because you definitely are going to need a warehouse. How much do I need to build that? Ten. I've only got six. Come on, a little bit more timber. Here we go. Work hard, lads, in the sawmill. We need that timber. We'll give the tubes a flush then. One more. Come on, one more plank. You guys can do it. Come on. I really love the look of like the little animations of The Sims on this game. It's great. Okay, come on, one more. You reached a new milestone. Oh, we're a village? I should go there or there. We should go here. Help enough to demolish the larger ruins. Let's breathe some life into this place. Yeah, I need the timber. I really need the timber. Everything you've built so far consumed wood. We know. We'll be needing more of it to continue. Gosh, you're so pushy. Uh, what do you think I'm doing? I'm trying to just get one more plank of wood to build the it's warehouse. It's been a long, hard day. The people need to rest and maybe wet their whistle. You're a drunk, I think. You can just wait a moment. Gosh, talk about pushing. One more bit of wood. Come on now. Oh, yeah, there's some. I should have just looked there. Is there any more ruins I can get rid of? No. Okay. Let's go. Warehouse. You restore a grain of my trust in humanity, eldest. Wow, you've become very cynical. Okay. Pub. Attract farmers. Build a pub. Says schnapps. Okay. Uh, I probably can afford another warehouse, but do I want one? Why don't I just put some... Hmm. That's not exactly where I want it. I know they need clothes. I just want to build up a little bit of wood first so I can get over this side of things. There we go. Yep, yep. I'm going to do all of that. Give me a second. Let me just get a warehouse, for heaven's sakes, please. Okay, now we've got a warehouse. That means we can get some timber industries up here. And we can maybe do some wool. And then we can have some schnapps. Okay, timber first. When I look into your people's faces, I see trouble. Yep. Make sure their misery doesn't become a problem. Mm-hmm. It won't. I'm going as quick as I can. You guys do something. If you don't like the way I'm doing it. Really need a lot of timber in this game. I've got a feeling the warehouses are key. Okay, let's get some clothing happening. Let's put that down this way, I reckon. Does that work at that warehouse? Yeah, but maybe here's better. Yep, I know there's a fire risk too. I'm aware of that. I'm aware of it all. Let's get some... 
sheep folds. Is that going to affect that? No. Good. Okay, now let's just get a basic distillery. Hmm, these things, I, they always blow up and then I really need a fire station. Hmm, where do we put the farm? We'll put the farm near it. Actually, we should put the farm over here. And we should move this. To there. So that we can, in our planning, put a, yep, I understand you need more farmers, and I'm going to get them for you in a second. Just give us a little break, okay? Right. About to do that. Let's get some more houses going. That seems to be what they're mostly whinging about. At least the wood is coming in now. Good. And that's what we're going to need. Um, we need a fire station and a pub as well. Let's just make sure we've got enough housing first. Okay, how lovely to live down here on the port side of things. That road's a bit dipping down, but that's fine. Okay. Uh, do we, we still need... Do we still need more farmers? I'm going to get them anyway. Because we're always going to need them. Now, I was going to build a fire station. Let's try and get somewhere that kind of can reach everywhere. Maybe down here. That can reach nearly everywhere. Then if I put one over that side of town, I should be able to reach it absolutely everywhere. I've got enough money to do it, so maybe I should. Maybe I should just do this road first, then put it down. Yep, then that's got everywhere covered. We not have trouble enough. Yep, you're getting clothes, okay? They're happening. Too many transporters, loading delay. Let's put another warehouse here for when I've got enough wood to build it. Okay. <laughs> pub. Where are we going to put our pub? It could go down here. Could easily go there. That doesn't even look bad. It could also go over here. That doesn't really do all those houses, though, does it? It could go up near my thing, but I don't. Th I think that's a bit of a waste. I think probably just let's put the pub there. Feels an eternity since the funeral. Hmm. And the cost! Oh, why, it was extortionate. Yes, it was. Pay me now, or what? Sell up. Is he joking? I feel sick to the stomach that Edvard could ask so much of us so soon after father's death. Yeah, what a jerk. You make molehills out of mountains. Do I really? Now I've got to make grog for him.
What a jerk he is. Here we go. This is a resident quest. I got something perplexing. Need setting straight. Me child's a firefighter's fanatic. He wishes to join the local squad when he grows up. It'd mean the world to him if you could take a picture of the fire station to hang by his bedside. All right. I need out with me lowly troubles. I can help you with your lowly troubles, lady. Let me get a nice... Your people are recovered and desirous to proceed. Set them to it. I will. We're going to need as much space as we can clear. What a lovely photograph. Do I get I in? wish I'd a goose for your kindness. I get a mate equipped in ships. Oh, so if I had a ship, I could equip him. Right, okay. I see. Now. Okay. Now we're going to... What were we up? Uh, ruins. Get rid of them. We need the timber. We need another warehouse here because this one's getting overrun. That should ease the pressure. Gorgeous! Good, these people are starting to get happier. They've got just about everything they need. We really need another fire station. <laughs> okay. Speak to our humble cousin. He writes of a worker riot in Bright Sands. Oh, does he now? It seems we are not alone in our contempt for Edvard. Well, when people act like that, I haven't got any of that happening yet at all. Here we go, they're working on it. Gosh, okay, where is my cousin? Oh, he's in Edvard's area. Find your cousin leading the mob in the vicinity of Edvard's exhibition construction site. I imagine this is him here. Oh, look, your workers aren't happy. I bet that's your cousin. We'd rather die than stay. Our flag still wave for Samuel. Let Edvard oppress us no more. Yeah, he's a bastard. All right. Find riding mobs. There's one. Come, come with us. We'll get you organized. Come on, let's all organize our efforts and we can do this job. I'm looking for more riding mobs. Yeah, oh, there's some. Come on. Come with us. I've got a place where you can live. We can all work together. I've got to find one more. I've got to listen for the rioting. I can hear some. There we go. A life away from Edvard. We're on board. Only we've no ship to get on board of. All right, I'll get us a ship. Don't worry. If you pick me, you may have my boat. It's my poor aunt's legacy. Her second husband was a decent sailor. Lovely. Let's go, editor. Select the editor's ship at Edvard's Harbour. Here we go. Really entirely marvellous to meet you. And that we may show truth or, or anything, actually, in my... Uh, our broadsheet. Yep, we'll see. Hopefully just the truth. Everybody on board? Good. Yep. I, I, I shiver at the thought of staying here another second. Okay, let's go. Oh, 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 we've got a ship. What? Has your cleft of the family no shame that it now resorts to abducting my workers? I didn't abduct the nothing. The Queen's ambassador himself shall hear of this. You're a dibber dobber. What a dobber. Squealer. Abduction is a severe accusation. And if I may, uh, excuse me, a false one. We left Edvard quite willingly. Pencil yeah. polishing, Popinjay. I should have been rid of you long ago. I Man. see nothing criminal. A bit of interfamilial bickering is only natural, <laughs> and hardly a matter for the crown. And wow. as for you, I have quite forgotten my manners. Sir Archibald Blake, ambassador and confidant to the Queen. 
Despite the circumstances, Her Majesty and I were pleased to hear of your return. Your father's death was a tragedy. We regret he never had the chance of a fair trial. Hmm. Yeah, pretty the dodge. The real tragedy here is the vast funeral bill that goes unpaid, while this brat is living the life of O'Reilly. Oh, yeah. Sadly, your uncle has indeed alerted me to some uh, floating liabilities. I fear you have no choice but mm. to settle them if I am to grant you your crown shipping license. Man. Edvard registered the debt officially. What a Don't jerk. Worry. That old tyrant can't hold us back anymore. All right, cousin. Indeed. Once my letterpress is up and running, the truth will come back to haunt Edvard. Uh, for your hospitality, please use my ship howsoever you may wish. Thank you. Now that sounds like good news. Thank you. Here we are, back at Ditchwater. Okay, we'll leave it here for the... As to the debt, my hands are tied, but it may warm Her Majesty's heart to see a new enterprise taking shape. Yes, it will. Okay, we're going to leave Ditchwater here for the first episode. I hope you enjoyed playing Anno 1800 on the campaign with me. Let's hope we can build Ditchwater to being even a grander place than old... Uncle Edvard's over the water there. Let's um let's see where this goes. I'm quite intrigued. I love the story. I love the build stuff. I love how it looks. It's a very beautiful game. Okay, let's see how it goes. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, see ya.